Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to compare for you the difference between WAMP and LAMP. Looking at the names of these acronyms, you would think that they're really similar, and in some ways they are. But the main difference is that one is for Windows and one is for Linux. Given that information, you can probably guess which is which. But these stacks are for uh, basically hosting websites on a machine. So the WAMP package is the Windows Apache MySQL PHP um, stack. So that's what, what's installed there. It's for Windows and it's got Apache, MySQL, and PHP. You can put other stuff on it as well. But the Linux, exact same thing. Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP. So uh, quickly, if you don't know what those items in the stack are, the Apache web server hosts files. It's what provides the file to people who are trying to visit your website. So they go to google.com and then that page loads with all the images. That's the web server doing that, providing those files to the user. The MySQL part is the database, which securely stores data long term. It's, um, I believe, the most popular package out there or database package for web based applications currently. And then PHP is a server-side programming language that does need to be installed on your web server for packages like WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal to run. Now you may have heard of other programming languages like JavaScript out there. And while most websites will run some JavaScript, JavaScript does not get installed on the web server directly because rather your client or your web browser is what triggers, activates, and runs the uh, JavaScript code. You don't need the server to do that. That's the difference between server-side and client-side uh, programming languages. So that's really the basics of it. If you see LAMP, that's Linux. And if you see WAMP, you're talking about a Windows server stack. So make sure that whichever operating system you're on, you get the right one for you if you're going to be doing that. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this brief video on WAMP and LAMP stacks, and I'll see you in my future content.